Hello, how's it going? Um, I'm going to show you how to make a animated GIF in um, Adobe ImageReady. It's pretty easy, um, so let's get started. First off, I want to make a new document. So I'm going to click File, New. And Now the pictures I'm going to use are 320 by 240. So you know, I'm just going to make a square image that's going to be 240 by 240. Just to make it easy on my part. Um, we have our background, set our background up here. We don't need to really worry about that. And that's it. So let's click OK. And now we have a square image. Now I have a bunch of images I want to use for this. And here, I have them over in here. Um, let's see. Here we go. And so I just select all these pictures right here and drag and drop them into image ray and now have all of them open. Now, the best way to do this is create every layer as an uh, you know, animation thing. Oh, first off, first before we can get anything, you notice there's nothing on here that mentions anything about animation. So, we need our animation uh, window up. So let's click Window, Animation. And now we have a animation toolbar. This section right here will tell us our frames, and this will control our playback for the animation. So let's go back into our image, and we're going to drag and drop each of one of these pictures into our, you know, our new one over here. So I'm going to click this with the Move tool, selected over here. So I'll select this, and drag and drop this over here. Now shift that over a little bit so my face centered and then we go on to the next one and usually want to keep my eyes around that centered area which is just preference of mine and we just keep repeating this step until we get the image that we want or until we're done with making all our frames And the last one. Okay. So, that's done. So now we're left with just this. Okay, what we need to do is now we have all our frames as different images here. So what we want to do is we want to make all these, and all these layers into frames of our animation. So we're going to do that by clicking this arrow thing right here over on the animation box. We'll click this and we'll say make frames from layers. So we can do that and now we have all our frames into all our layers over here into different frames of animation. Now this white box came from our background layer so we can just ignore this and just delete that frame of animation. So now as you notice each this thing right here is the time interval in between frames. So if I play this right now it's going to be really really fast and it's just kind of annoying but kind of entertaining but more annoying more annoying than entertaining so we'll stop and we're going to change this to 0.2 seconds that way it's not so annoying and it's still entertaining so here we go and we hit play and now we got ourselves a picture so the final step to all this is we want to save our new you know, our new animation so we go file Save optimized, and we want to go and save it into a. This is my animation demo. I'm going to save it as an animation demo dot gif. I'm going to save and anyway. Now all we can do have to do is I upload it into my MySpace, and there we go. Now I have this new animation gif of me making all these funny faces. I think that's my new picture, in fact. Yep. So there you go. And that's all you have to do to make animated GIFs. Now, if you want to take it a step further, we can do it this way. We can go File, New. We'll do the same thing. I'm just going to show you around with stuff that you can do with animations. So now, first we're going to have ourselves a new layer. Now we'll make it myself a little circle. And I want to animate the circle from one spot to another spot, let's say, you know, across the screen or something. So what I did was I clicked New here, and that will 
make a new frame of animation. So what I can do is I can take this frame right here and I can drag it over to the side. Now if you notice, here's my frame 1 and here's my frame 2. Now what we do is there's a process called tweening which will fill all the stuff in between there. So I can click on this button here and tween. This will tell me I want to tween with the previous frame and make five frames to add between the two. Now, I don't have one layer, so I don't really have to worry about selecting just as current layers or anything like that. And this will change, this will tween the position, opacity, and effects of the two layers. Um, since I just knew the position, uh, opacity, and effects really don't matter, but I'm just going to hit OK just to show you what this does. Now, I have a animation that moves a circle across that point. That's pretty neat. So, that's only the beginning. Now I'm going to use one layer there. Now I can do multiple layers, and I can just make a new layer and create a, oops, create a new circle, like a friend for the circle, you know, a little pie or something. And then now, this frame is only in this and the corresponding frames after. Well, sort of, I guess. It will be if I show it up. So, now you can do some animations here and just kind of move this one over here in this spot and then that way and when you play the animation it just kind of flashes there. But anyway, that's the basics of animation using ImageRay. So I hope this helps, you know, helps you out in doing whatever you need to do with animations and it helps it's a good starting point for you too. Alright, so there you go, animations with ImageRay.